Hey everyone, welcome back to the Thoughts Distilled Talk Show from Hobart.io. I'm Kevin, and with me, as always, is Justin. Hey everyone. Ah, all right, buddy. So what are we doing today? Looks like we had a lot of bottles in front of us. Uh, yeah. Obviously, we look like fanboys right now with our shirts and our bottles, but we kind of are after uh, visiting uh, Middle West Spirits yeah. out of Columbus, Ohio. So we took a road trip down there. It's about three and a half hours from where we are in Michigan, but it was cool. It was a, quick, it was a good time, and we, you know, we wanted to uh, grab these cask strength bourbons. Yep. And rice, and we and did, weed we did whiskey <laughs> versions, three different expressions, three different expressions yeah. uh, um, of of their regular lineup. So uh, I guess I can pour a little bit if you want to yeah. say what they are. So yeah, we, yeah, I'll, I'll start sure. pouring the uh, dark pumpernickel rye here. Yeah, it was a little bit of a, a, a rainy day when we went down there, but um, but it was awesome because they were super nice and welcoming once we got there. Um, but yeah, so basically we've got three different kinds here. We have their rye whiskey, which is their like pumpernickel rye, which is uh, like a little bit more unique. Um, then we have their wheat whiskey that Justin's pouring right now. Um, and then we have the straight weeded bourbon whiskey. I always get that one wrong. <laughs> Gotta say it right. Um, but uh, yeah, these are the three expressions that we got. They were distillery Wait, exclusives. Yeah, that one, yeah. I thought you called this one a bourbon whiskey. but No, no, no. this one's just straight wheat. Yeah. You actually got it uh, right. I screwed wheat, you up. Uh, wheat whiskey, yeah. All right. So, um, so yeah, we got these uh, as distillery exclusives. So we had to drive uh, down there. But um, it was a good time. It right. was so yeah yeah it was a really good time yeah and they were like I said they were really nice their um, uh, their bottle shop and uh, restaurant there are top notch yeah uh, just classy like, the and design you know, we'll, is we'll, awesome we'll, yeah we'll share yeah. you know some of the things that we got here yeah um, but okay so starting here from right to left we have the dark pumpernickel rye yep. Um, I know that uh, you and I both were a fan of the uh, regular version that we tried, which we'll we'll be getting a nice little review out there at some point. Yep. Um, very soon, actually. Yeah. yeah, I'll put that out pretty so, soon. So, uh, you know, the little specs on this one here. This is the lowest proof out of the batch, uh, 112.56 proof cash strength. Um, normally, it's 96 proof. Mm -hmm. uh, that's normally what it is. So the mash bill of this one is dark pumpernickel rye, Ohio soft red winter wheat, Sweet yellow corn and two row barley. So they don't put any of the um, percentages on the Yeah, side, we don't have the percentages of what it is in each, but it's nice that they actually do have uh, yeah. what, what goes into the grain bill or the mash bill. Um, so, yeah, do you want to just head on, on to the next one or do you want to taste first and then go? That's up to um, you. How do you want to do it? I guess let, let's. Uh... Let's give the specs of the next one. Huh? Okay. How about that? Let's do All it, right. yeah. So this one here, uh, straight wheat whiskey. This is cash strength as well. Uh, the cash strength version of this, 123 and a half. Uh, normally, this one comes in at uh, 92 proof. Mm, so okay, yeah. a decent bump up there. Yeah. Um, this bo Both of these are aged at least three years. That's what we know. That's what they still say on here. Uh, the mash bill for this, Ohio soft red winter wheat. Hmm. That's it. That's it. That's it. Just the wheat. Okay. Winter wheat, yep. yep. Uh, and then last but definitely not least, you know, we're bourbon people here. So oh, yeah. uh, we have, and I want to make sure that I get this right, uh, the Middle West Spirits Michelone Reserve Cask Strength Bourbon. Yep. But it's a weeded bourbon, right? Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, exactly. It's oh, got God, wheat in the, it No, you're right. You're right. It's uh, a, um, uh, well, a straight weeded yeah. bourbon whiskey. Yes. But cask It's a weeder. Strength. It's a weeder. It's a weeder. Right? It's actually four yeah. grain. So, yeah, did you? It's a four grain. Yep. Yep. You can tell it's us a, more about that. Well, yeah. So is the pumpernickel rise a four grain as well. But yeah. 126.54 proof. Uh, originally, normally, this is 95 proof. So the mash bill of this one is basically the exact same as the pumpernickel rye, mm -hmm. um, you know, but the with the corn and the winter wheat reverse. So it's going to have at least 51% sweet yellow corn. And then you go down to the Ohio soft red uh, winter wheat. Dark pumpernickel rye and two row barley. Two row barley. So okay, it's, yeah. It's the same same mash bill, just different percentages essentially. Got it. Yeah, yeah. That totally makes sense. Um, which I think it'll be interesting because then you're going to see the character more of their pumpernickel rye. Yes. In here, and obviously would be would less think. in here, but you'd, it'll still get some of it, right? Because mm -hmm. it's in yeah, there. for and sure. The grain bill, the mash bill. All for right, sure. let's All go right. in on the rye. All right. So All yeah, right. let's see. What we got on the rye here. Oh yeah, yeah. I really like that. Yeah, for sure. It's like, like kind of like sweet. a dark fruit, sweet, yeah. yeah. But also at the same time, get like, I get that like that like pumpernickel kind of mm -hmm. thing going. I don't know if that's just in my head or. I know we were talking about before with the other one, but um, I can't remember the restaurant where you would get like pumpernickel bread served. I thought it was macaroni grill. I could be wrong. I, I like the bread was just so good, and I think it, it could have been. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't recall, but. 
Um, but yeah, like pumpernickel bread. Mm-hmm. So you're you're getting that too a little bit on the yeah. nose. Okay. Yeah. I again. I mean, who knows how much of influences from the label? I know that's what, what I was about to called, say. But, but it, I I feel like I do get that. Um, and then I do get like a like a spearmint a little bit. On I the get nose spearmint too. for get sure. That. I mean, it's overall. I mean, it's pretty sweet. It's like fruity. Um, yeah. It's got that bread note. Do you want to just go in? Let's go in. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Wow, it's good. Yeah. Definitely has like both spice and yeah. sweet. Spice um, kind of hits like mid mid to late, I think, on this. But yeah, it's pretty. It, yeah, it's pretty sweet. It is. It is. It's definitely sweet. Um, a lot of the stuff I feel like kind of on the nose, you you do get. Mm-hmm. I do honestly. I it's get like, that pumpernickel. I, I do. do too, but it, it's almost um, like a molassesy sweetness yes, as well. Yes, for good. sure. There's like molasses in yeah. there. Um, honestly, like I'm. Hold on. Let me take another taste. It's good. The spice is. Uh, the spice is there. I feel like I also get like a little bit of like a like an anisey thing going on, like mm-hmm. a, like a black licorice yeah. too. Like yeah. on the finish. I do. Yeah, that's that's what I'm looking for. The anise. Anis, yeah, yeah. Anis. <laughs> Is too close to another word for you, or? <laughs> mm-hmm. Some people might like that. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, this is going to sound weird, but almost like, uh, honestly, for this, I get like a little bit of coffee at the end. It may be coffee. Oh, or I can coffee. see that. Yeah, like almost like a coffee bean or coffee roaster. Yeah, I, I'm. Yeah, like honestly, I, when you said that immediately, like, I got like it's, a, like it's a more. A, it's more like the aftertaste, like, like a coffee ground finish. kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. So, to be honest, I am kind of following a little bit of some of the things that are in their normal, not cast strength, but their normal expression, mm-hmm. because we're gonna put a review out for that one just pretty soon enhanced. too. It's just enhanced, yeah. That's and cool. I thought I'd gotten coffee grounds, I think, with that one. And then I had, you know, forgotten that yeah. fact. And then when you said coffee, I was like, That's hey, good, yeah, yeah, yeah like it's that. it's really good. Yeah. I'm going to keep a little bit in here so we can go back to it if For we sure. Want. Yep. Um, All right. Yeah. Moving on to the wheat. To the wheat whiskey. The wheat, yes. 100% wheat mash bill, it looks like here. Um, <laughs> this one's, oh, this is barrel number 16. I don't know how special that is. Ooh, well. Um, 123 and a half proof. So let's go in on the nose here. 123.5. Wow. Yeah. It's actually very it's much like syrupy. Yeah. Syrupy, but also yeah. sp- like some, Syru- uh, some like baking spice, not like pepper mm-hmm. spice. It's just like, no, bacon, it's baking. Bacon spice I would just over. say baking spice, which yeah, I mean, you can't get in wheat. I get, I get dill. Do you get dill on this one? I get That's dill. interesting that you get yeah. dill on this one. Yeah. Uh, I just a little bit though. Like it just... I don't get as uh, like dill so much, but I like I said I just get a lot of a lot of baking spice and um, like sweet notes. So I'm trying to kind of pull out those sweet notes. I get brown sugar, but like I feel like that's a pretty surface level thing. Um, yeah, I feel like I don't know. I feel like I'm getting a, a little bit more of like a fruit, like a light fruit note on it. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, but maybe cherry's a good way. All right, keep yeah. going. Yeah, let's, okay. let's give it a shot. Way more um, spice than I would anticipate yeah, with this. Both. So immediately, what it comes to mind, like, because I get more, I get more spice on the palate. Uh, I would say, uh, uh, I, I don't know. I just got in this immediate instance like a big red gum stick, almost like, yeah, right there. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Uh, I think for this one, I just get a lot more of that. Like honestly, it reminds me like holiday baking spice. Mm-hmm on the palate like yeah yeah for sure like, maybe some clove yes mm-hmm. clove for sure yeah. i think it's clove and uh and a little bit of cinnamon too but like it's like it totally the, the finish for sure reminds me of that all right here we all go right, Next yeah, last one. one last one uh this is the straight rated weeded bourbon, bourbon whiskey. whiskey yes michaelone reserve yes right? michaelone Perfect. reserve you got it um and it bears the name of Let's see. What do they say here? Bears the name of the, the grandfather. Great, yeah, the grandfather who yeah. inspired everything. So Michael Owen Reserve. Yep. You got it, man. Yeah, That's right, it. Cool. Um, and the proof on this guy was sixty-three point two seven. Or yeah, the proof it's is a high one. The highest one out of the bunch here. So one hundred and twenty. Yes, yeah, so let's say you'd have to just double that. Six point five four. Uh, uh-huh. Normally, this guy. What do we say? Uh, normally, this one sits at ninety-five proof. Okay. Yep. The, the normal expression. The normal expression. Yes. 
Oh, okay. Uh, well, it's really good. If you're looking, in, in my opinion, if you're looking for your nut note, <laughs> yep, it's in, it's in here for sure. Yeah, it's in there. Uh, that's I love that. Uh, I don't think I know much about the age on this. It doesn't say. It doesn't tell you. Okay. No. Well, straight is at least two years, right? If anything says straight, or legally, yes, yeah, it's got to be at least two years. So we know that much. Uh, but yeah, nothing beyond that. Yeah, it's great. Like I said, there's that nuttiness, and I also yeah. get like honey. So like, very, it's like a honey nut. <clears throat> yes, but what? Which one? Do you Cheerios. Think? <laughs> um, yeah, maybe, maybe if there's a gray <laughs> note, but I, I don't get much gray note in here, honestly. Um, pecan. I can see pecan pecan because it's a little bit buttery. Um, yeah. Um, and then it, of course it's like sweet. Like it definitely yeah. has that sweet too. That um, yeah, sweet it's good. Note. Um, specifically, what sweetness? Uh, Again, it's just like a lot of it. You get sugary, sugary on there sweetness. too. Yep. I get a little bit of maple, tiny bit of maple on there. Um, sweetness. Like I can see that, but other than that, mostly it's just kind of like mm -hmm. straight up bourbon. Sweet, yeah. yeah it sweet kind of, bourbon yeah. with little nutty. A little bit of brown sugar, a little yeah. bit of white sugar, kind of yeah. like we talked about. Yeah, before. All right, let's go on this. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Sweet nuttiness. Yeah, sweet nuttiness, but <laughs> the, the but the spicy. The interesting thing is that it it is a little bit different on the palate than it is on the nose. Mm -hmm. I get some sort of like very, I don't know, like uh, bright sweetness on the palate. I don't know how to describe that except it's like it's like uh, fruity, but like a light, like a is it it's funny because i said maraschino like cherry a, i think for something else but on the on the palette for this i feel like i get maraschino mm -hmm. cherry like a very very i get bright cherries but again like cherries dried fruit and it's it's kind of similar Definitely dried, it's, yeah, it's fruit, for sure yeah. similar to the pumpernickel rye but with a nutty with a nutty factor yeah i think mm -hmm. you know that's good i like it a lot yeah um we'll have to talk about what we think about each one yeah uh they're all really kind of unique they uh, are, yeah. and delicious. Um, yeah. This is good. Well, yeah. should we start, should we start talking about them? Mm -hmm. So I think they're what? 64 99 <laughs> each a piece. Yep. A piece. Okay. Yep. Not bad. No. Uh, do you, what's the normal ones? Do you know? Uh, around 45, 45. Okay. That's not a bad price job. I mean, I guess the only thing different between these is, is the cask, you know, it's cast strength versus, yeah, you really can't ask versus, for more going no. to cast mm -hmm. strength and, and, uh, you know what I but mean? You, like, there, but there are differences, which is good. Sure. You know, and yeah. it's not just the heat. Cause right. frankly, I didn't even really notice the heat too much at, right. at any of these. Like, and that's what I'm saying. Good. Like pretty, pretty high proof too. Pulling some, uh, mm -hmm. some knowledge that I already had from, from this one for the, the regular version, the mm -hmm. non-cast strength version. Um, it still does have different notes. Um, some of the things are just more pronounced, yeah. right? We, you know, mm -hmm. but, um, but yeah, it's really interesting. It's All of them are, are good. Yeah. Um, okay. So value of each of these, I would, I would feel comfortable paying anywhere from 60 to $80 for any of these, you know, it's a craft, it's a craft distillery. Um, and they actually make good stuff though. It's not, it's honestly, you know, a lot of the craft is it's hot, it's, it's young and it's just high proof. Uh, the, or they're finishing it in something, which right. I'm not. I'm a fan of that. Um, but you know, they really with the with the unique grains they're using here, and, and everything. they're not sourced. That's another no. good thing about them. It's like, pretty cool. I mean, yeah. not to say anything bad about sourcing, but it's so it's more unique, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you're going to get sourcing, typically it's from a, a particular. And they have they have been around for a while. What 2011 is when they started. I don't know. When I think they, it was 2010. They started 20, in 2008, okay. and then they they had like a public. You know, it was actually open to the public. Gotcha. In okay. Yeah. But it's cool. I think that's yeah. Right. We we we're definitely going to be paying another visit to there. You know, to get oh yeah, it was awesome and everything. Such a beautiful place. Definitely. Too. Um. Yeah. They have their own uh, still. You know, like yeah. it's it's you actually can see their really... column still from outside. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like the experience that you'd get in like Kentucky, right? Going to the Bourbon Trail, but mm -hmm. like they have their own. You know, in the middle of Columbus, they have like their own experience, kind mm -hmm. of kind of like that. It's kind of so interesting. sixty to eighty dollars. That's the range we feel. Uh, worth it. I would say buy, buy, buy. Yeah, yeah, you know, I like too. give it a try though. Like, bucks, so what was cool? We actually bucks. picked up one. We'll do. Uh, we we don't have it here today. The uh, Oloroso wheat five year wheat whiskey we picked up too. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was aged in something else. But anyways, you yeah, you can, can try right there in the bottle room. They actually have all of these open. I don't remember if these were there, but they have a whole cart full of uh, whiskeys that you can try if you ask. Yeah. You or just, I don't know if you have to buy, but 
uh, we definitely gave it gave a shot and it was good you know so yeah I think they're just willing to just let you try whatever you're interested in mm -hmm. um, because you know obviously those finished ones too are a little bit maybe more expensive right yeah. so you, mm -hmm. so it might behoove them to right. give you so a give it a, yeah give it a shot but, which whatever one you like the most uh, but all right you ready for the uh, the ratings yeah, for each I say buy for each of these you yep. know you, you're gonna have your own profile to match but they're good mm -hmm. um, all right, well, let's talk about, maybe we should talk about which one we liked the most mm -hmm. out of the three, and then we'll go from we'll go from there. Okay. Um, it's hard for me because I'm a bourbon guy. I know. I know. Uh, and I like weeded mash bills, but I have to say I think the pumpernickel rye was my favorite. Okay. Kay. Yes. That's mm -hmm. funny. I agree with you. Usually, you and I kind of will, will yeah. you know, switch between what we like the best, but out of these three, yeah. I have to say this one's probably and Then the I'm going to this one. Okay. That would be my second favorite, that Nutty Note. You know that sweet oak that I kind of got in there a mm -hmm. little bit. I, I it's hard to pull away. I just think this one had very. It was very interesting, complex. Yes. Um, for what it was. So I like. I'd say this one, this one, and then this one. Nothing wrong with this one. Mm -hmm. I just think that these two had a little bit more to offer, and maybe that's just the you know because they had more in their mash bill. Yeah, it's tough for really tough mm -hmm. for me because these are all really really good models. Yeah. Um, but I I kind of felt like this one was the winner. Um, of these two, I think I'm going to switch uh, uh, like I normally do, switch it up on you. I think I like this one a little bit better. Okay. And then I think I like this one probably, and I, to say the least, even sounds bad because these are all so good. Like, mm -hmm. say I like it the least. Um, these are all exceptional. I would just say that it goes down the line for me. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. So we'll start with this one. So uh, ratings wise, <laughs> I mean, for me, that's got to be like in kind of the eight range. And yeah. I'm going to go eight in the middle. So I'm going to say 8.5. I think that's fair. Okay, yeah, you like uh, that I think too? Fair. Yeah. Okay, we'll, mm -hmm, we'll go with 8.5 for, sure. for that one. Um, and then we can do that one next if you want. Yep. Um, <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah, let's do this one. Do you, you want to do this okay. one? Okay, yeah. What do you got with that one? What do you think? I was thinking, um, I mean, I feel 8.3. I think it was pretty close to this one. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm good with 8.3. Either 8.2 or 8.3. Okay. Yeah. All right, well. We'll we'll have the final results of that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, we might have to do it. I don't know. We can just say I'm good. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm good with right. eight point three. And That's then fine. this one. Well, I feel like in my opinion, I like that one a little bit more. So I would say eight point four. So I'd do okay. like eight point three, eight point four, eight point five. That's what I would go with. Okay. Are you okay with that? Do I'm okay with that. Okay. I mean, you know, our profiles are a little different. A little here. different. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I think those are pretty interchangeable. Okay. So this is what I'll ask you. As mm -hmm. far as what people would. You think people would like i know that you know weeded whiskeys uh, obviously there's you know a handful yeah. of them out there but as far as they <sighs> stands up to other weeded whiskeys okay I, i'm not going to mention it which okay. one but I, this weeded whiskey wise out of what i've tried this is very good okay it's very good you're not gonna you're not mention any names no, you're not gonna name I'm, any names no i'm not okay uh, the other one was still good that I'm oh, mentioning. oh yeah you're talking you about know, a, speci a very yeah. specific one that we're not going to say yes but there are but it was still good but i like this one better Right, I mean, like it's just more complex, you know, like uh, uh, it, com it, compared to like Bernheim. Yeah, there's no co there's no competition no. in my opinion. No, this is way better than yes. Bernheim. Again, yeah, way better. Again, this is cask cask strength. The other one is not, but still, it's good. It's way better. I thought, yeah, I mean, and I've had their just the straight um, mm -hmm. or the uh, the wheat whiskey, just a normal wheat whiskey, and I like that better than Bernheim too. All right, fair so, enough. I agree with uh, you on that. Yeah. So so, I, well, I think that does it. All right, yeah, I think we're all set mm -hmm. here. We've got 8.3, 8.4, and 8.5, yep. respectively, for each one. Um, and, yeah, so if you guys get the opportunity to uh, get your hands on these bottles, please do. Mm -hmm. As far as we know, they are distillery exclusive for now. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to change. Um, we can always, you know, reach out to Middle West and ask. Uh, but it looks like you might have to take the trip down to Columbus yes. if you want to get uh, your, your hands on a bottle or all three bottles. Um but, uh, yeah, that's all we have for today. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, we would appreciate uh, a like on the video. Yeah. Um, comment if you have any thoughts follow or anything. On our, follow on our, our YouTube channel. and Yeah, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. and mm. then um, um, That's if the you, word I was looking for. That's the one you were looking new. for. Okay. Yep, subscribe. And then, um, if you want, we have plenty of other articles on our website at yep. homebar.io. We'll actually be um, taking each one of these bottles and putting it on there. Mm -hmm. um, so look out for that, and uh, we'll Don't, just do a nice write-up yeah. for it. Don't forget, we do still have a free web app that we, you know, we're, it's a work yep. in progress, but if you want to catalog your inventory, see some prices, what other people are paying for bottles, yep. sign up. It's free, app.homebar.io. Yep, perfect. All right, thanks All right. so much, guys. We'll be seeing you soon. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.